What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mel's Pie Gaming, and today's legendary video is on the horizon. In my case, it's the humongous the horizon. In your case, it may be different, but we some form of the horizon. The horizon is dropped by Maximilian on the voracious canopy on Eden 6. So there may be a small spoiler alert, so if you haven't already done the main quest, called the family jewel you may want to back out now so three two one all right forever hold your peace to get to uh, the voracious canopy you're going to want to go to your map select eden six and then select the voracious canopy so this is where you're going to spawn right here and i'm not going to show you the whole route to get there because it's very windy and very confusing so i'm just going to show you where you start and where Maximilian spawn. By the way, Maximilian is a rare spawn, so he does not spawn 100% of the time. He spawns about 20% of the time, so you, if he doesn't spawn, you're going to have to save and quit and try again. So yes, you're going to have to farm him, hoping he's going to spawn, and also when he spawns, you're going to hope when you kill him, he drops the horizon. So it's a little tedious, but it got me only about... Took me only about 20 minutes to get the horizon, so it wasn't too bad. But in your case, it may be different. In my case, it wasn't too bad. So you're just gonna want to follow the pathway that I've been showing you for the last couple seconds, and it is very, very windy and twist and turny, so it's super confusing. But once you get there, I got a little trick to spawn very close to Maximilian, so you don't have to spawn super far away. And repeat the confusing process again. So this is about what about a minute in sped up time to get there. So yes, it's going to take a while to get there on your first go. But I think it's a little bit worth it. The gun isn't horrible, but it's also not a 10 out of 10. But anyways, here I am slowing it down and Maximilian should spawn in this room. So anyways, when he spawns in, you're going to want to take him out and hope that he drops a legendary. There, he did not drop the legendary. So once you kill him, don't save and quit wide, right away. You're going to want to follow this pathway. All right. Up through that door and up this staircase. And there is a new use station right here. So you want to make sure that is active so you can save and quit and spawn right there. All right, so once you spawn in, just follow this very short pathway to Maximilian. Like I said, he may or may not spawn, so if he doesn't spawn the first time, go to that new station, activate it, and then save and quit and come here. But anyways, he dropped the horizon this time, so pick that bad boy up, and let's test it out. So, it's not such a bad shotgun. However, the legendary effect is cool, but I've been having issues, or was having issues in this gameplay trying to get the legendary effect to activate so the legendary effect is when you throw this gun to reload it will say shoot me so if you're able to shoot it it will start a singular effect so a singular effect is it'll suck nearby enemies in however the trouble that i was having is i was either missing it or i would shoot it at the wrong time and it will not suck an enemy so to me, I'd wish the legendary effect, if you threw it and it was near an enemy, it would singularity, but you got to shoot it and it's quite difficult. But anyways, it does a good amount of damage. As always, we are at the Circle of Slaughter on Mayhem 3, and the Mayhem 3 stats are on the screen below the minimap. Alright, so what do I give this weapon? Well, I give it a 6. Why a 6? Well, I'll let you guys know. Let's start off with the negatives so this gun didn't have a lot of negatives as i was using it but the one negative that i was saying earlier is the legendary effect the reason why you would most likely want to get this gun is the singularity effect either i was having trouble trying to activate it so i was missing it or i would shoot it and activate it and it would be nowhere near enemies so that would make the singularity pointless. But there was a couple times in this clip where I was able to get groups of enemies to get near the singularity uh, effect. And it would sometimes kill them and sometimes not. I noticed that full health enemies actually wouldn't die. So that kind of drew it back. The main effect is singularity and to kill them. 
but you're not killing them, so you don't get a good score. So that was the negatives. Now let's go with the positives. So the main positive you'll know about this gun is that the bullets actually do quite a lot of damage. I'm getting a minus 70% gun damage with the shotgun, and it's still doing a pretty good job. It is only semi-automatic. So you can't hold down the shotgun and go pew, 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 pew. No, you gotta pull the trigger to shoot and then pull it again. So it's a little bit tedious, but the damage is well worth the fire rate. Also, it had a good magazine size of eight and it shot one, consumed one bullet per shot. So you got eight bullets in your magazine for the magazine size of eight. So it's quite good. I wasn't re reloading much, but I also had a shield that was giving me ammo in the gun, so that was making this gun even better. Another positive is that this bullet spread for the shotgun is quite tight, so you're able to hit people from very far away and still do a decent amount of damage. In this gameplay, I'm actually trying to shoot these jetpack troopers, and I'm actually doing quite a lot of damage. Most of the pellets I'm shooting at them is actually hitting. The last positive that I noticed with this shotgun is that this shotgun comes in multiple elements so if you're looking for a TD or shotgun with certain elemental damage you could form Maximilian for the horizon to get a elemental TD or shotgun so that has been the legendary weapon the horizon in Borderlands 3 let me know what you guys think in the comments down below also don't forget to leave a like if this video hits more than 10 likes in the first 24 hours, I will upload a bonus video for you guys. Also, check out my other social media accounts such as Twitter, Instagram, my Twitch where I stream on the weekends most often. And also, check out my Discord where I have a Borderlands channel for all you crazy Borderlands fans. And if you're looking to talk to other Borderlands fans, just go to my Discord. It's a great spot to chat with other crazy Borderlands fans. So anyways, I've been Melsify Gaming. Hope you guys enjoy, and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Peace.